Hello lovely people, you all are once again most welcome to your very own channel. Well, English has an element of everything. It has an element of love, beauty, um, uh, you know, sort of a praise. It has happiness. It has every feeling. So it also has a feeling of surprise. Yes, that is true. Well, there are certain words in English um, which probably you would be surprised to know what the original meaning of these words was. I mean, how were they originally used? And now over years, how has their meaning changed? You will be really, 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 really surprised when you get come to know that, I mean, these words, which have actually the meaning of these words has changed over years. Yes, it is really, really surprising. Well, um, let's go ahead and learn what and see what are these words, which are actually going to get you surprised. So get ready for the surprise. Here is the content coming for you all. One, two, three. Here we go. Get ready. Awful. How do we know this word today? Well, we know it as something which is not the best thing, not, not too good to experience. That is awful. But originally, when this word was used, it only meant something that was worthy of praise, that was worthy of Oh, right so um, now over years it just changed to something which is which someone just hates which is completely opposite to how it was used right in the start so yes be surprised because initially when this word was used it definitely didn't mean what it means today so yes initially it only meant meant something which is worthy of all which is worthy of a praise so yes isn't it surprising to learn how its meaning has changed over years yes it is Cheater. Yes, again, a very, very surprising word. How do we know cheater today? Someone who doesn't follow honest methods. They are uh, such a person is referred to as a cheater. Well, originally cheaters were those people who were responsible um, for handling the king's streets. So streets were those lands uh, which um, basically belonged to the king because they didn't have any legal heir. So all these lands of probably common people or the society uh, from those families who didn't have a legal heir. All these lands belonged to the king originally. So cheetah were those, um, basically those people who were supposed to take care and they were meant to be very, very honest and very, very responsible for that particular job. So they were referred to as cheaters. But owing to the not very honest or dishonest ways in which they dealt with these lands, um, Probably that is when the meaning of, of, of this particular word changed and it then started to be used as a person who is very, very dishonest in his conduct. So um, originally cheaters were meant to be honest people, but now cheaters probably because of the way that they dealt with different situations, this name itself, it started to carry away negative meaning and till late it is used as something that is someone who is very dishonest. So yes. Again, a surprise element that English comes up with. So this is yet another word which I was surprised to know what it meant. Naughty. Well, naughty. What? Why is it? Why is naughty so surprising? I mean, today we know someone who is who is always mischievous in his or her conduct is referred to as naughty, isn't it? Usually kids are naughty. So basically naughty comes, um, you know, the, the original word that it comes from is not, which means nothing. So uh, initially it meant nothing. Now it means someone who is mischievous. So yes, um, in the 14th century, it was described, uh, basically this word was used to describe someone who was poor or needy or someone who had nothing, right? So those people who were poor and needy and didn't have anything were referred to as naughty but over the years so surprising to know that the meaning has completely changed and today we know um, you know this word as uh, i mean we associate this word with those people who are very very mischievous who usually end up making one or the other um usually uh, pranks who are pranksters they are usually referred to as naughty so yeah, very, very surprised to know that the meaning has changed completely. 
Well, the next one is nice. Well, what is so surprising? How do we know nice? Nice is something which is good, which is appealing, which is pleasant to the eyes, or it is um, good to taste. That is referred to as nice. But originally, nice uh, is basically a word which is borrowed from French and it means silly, right? So initially it meant silly or something that is foolish. Now over the years, the meaning has completely changed and now we know nice as something which is very good, which is pleasant to experience that is referred to as nice. So yeah, the meaning has changed. It's completely different now. And definitely this is not how it started off. Well, this is the last word that I chose for you all. Again, it's, it is full of a surprise element. And what it means is, now bully, of course, we've heard this word, right? It refers to as someone who tries to, um, you know, torture people around, who just tries to boss them, who tries to suppress them. And is definitely, it's not a good experience to have a bully around you, right? So, um, but initially when this word was um, invented or when this word was used, what did it mean? Well, the earliest meaning of bully in English was sweetheart. Again, this is a, a Dutch borrowed word and where it actually means lover, right? So um, bully is um, definitely not a lover, is definitely not a lover, is bully is not associated with lover anymore or a person who is very lovable is not, is not called bully anymore. The meaning has completely, completely changed over time. It is definitely not someone who is a sweetheart. We would definitely not like to have a bully around us anymore, right? So um, again, very, very surprised to know that initially when this was used, it was, the meaning was completely different, but, with, but over years, the meaning has completely changed and now it is used in a different context altogether. So again, very, very surprised. Well, as I told you, English is full of surprises. So yes, these were five surprises that I brought for you all. And if you're interested, do let me know. I'll get some more surprises for you in the coming videos. Well, um, keep learning with tutorials, point and tutorials. We'll meet again in the next video. Have a great day.